Yo, what up gamers? Today, I'm doing the online daily run because apparently there's a new achievement for doing the online daily run. Does that mean I have to play with multiple people? Uh, I don't know, because I'm playing solo, so I sure hope not. I really hope I get this achievement range down. <laughs> I imagine a lot of people are playing the dailies right now because Isaac just got updated. So I, of course, also wanted to participate in this. See if I can land the highest score possible. It looks like it's only to mom's heart or it lives. So my best course of action is trying to find a way to go down to further floors like shoal so i can farm more points i need to hit boss rush so we need to play really fast here so i should probably just die on the curse room get my damage up immediately and see what we can do from there do i want to get hit by that no maybe if i land perfection life could be a lot better so let's die with self-sacrifice damage and optimize for points now optimizing for points is one of my favorite things to do in this game because it has a lot of different strategy than what you would usually find in regular games this is a new room by the way to get the most points possible i gotta come back for that there's a few things you gotta do you gotta get a lot of pickups you gotta explore a lot of rooms and you gotta try and go for boss rush and hush now hush is not obviously part of this but boss rush is and i do have a restock machine we can look into and the biggest way to lose out on points is easily taking damage your damage penalty is humongous if you take damage if you take damage on any floor but specifically the further in you go into the run the more points get taken away when you do take damage there's the secret room i was hoping for that so wow that's incredibly good i don't know how many people might have gotten this when they did the daily but this seems like a really good double bomb for me high value i guess i'll just check out the restock if we can and then leave but yeah so if i take damage on basement one i am gonna lose points but it's not gonna be too much in comparison to me taking damage you know potentially i'll take this on a womb one and in womb one i'm gonna lose like 200 points so either way let's make sure we try not to take as much damage as possible Okay, next floor, I immediately have another curse room and I'm immediately looking into it and thinking I should take it. Tech point five is amazing here. Taking items does actually decrease the amount of points you have. It's just not by a lot, but there is an item penalty. So if you really want to optimize, you shouldn't be taking things that don't really provide anything towards the end of the run. Wow, Guppy's Paw, hello. And what I mean by that is simple. Even at the end of the run, I would take a piggy bank or something because a piggy bank could provide pickups even when I'm hit, so it matters. But let's say I take, I don't know, what's like a really bad item? Cursed Eye. If I took Cursed Eye at the very end, I probably wouldn't really enjoy it, even though it's a bit of a DPS up. All that would really happen is I just lose out on points, so we gotta keep that in mind. Trinkets don't count though, we can take trinkets all we want, and of course with Tech Point 5, we're now doing a lot more damage. Things are looking significant. I will go Devil Deals here, because we are building into Guppy, so that could be nice, and I could take a deal just because I could use Guppy's Paw and be able to afford anything I want. This is a good amount of cash, enough to go to shop. Again, I have to play fast here because boss rush will be the difference maker between people who are playing the daily and getting a decent amount of uh, points and the people that really make the difference here. Uh, red candle, I do have to take because it means infinite shopkeeper blow up, even without bombs. This is the type of tryhard we're going to have to do today, but I'm super into it, so let's do it. Also, needless to say, this is just an incredibly good run. Like, this run is nuts. <laughs> Insane damage just because I'm Laz. Already really good tier effects and really good damage and tiers. In here, wow. There's only one correct option, I feel. It's backstabber straight into pact. I'll live, I'll be okay. And is there anything else to do? I don't think so. We gotta go. Wow. Is that not a 1%? <laughs> is that... Wow, Pluto. Okay. Wow. All right. That is a 1% planetarium, I believe. Which is funny because that means that most people got that planetarium. If not every single person, I think, would have gotten that planetarium. Range up makes up for the range down earlier. Yeah, anyone who played this daily got a 1% planetarium. That was probably a little bit mind-blowing. A little bit mind-boggling. Slightly maniacal, even. Uh, but that's very cool. Pluto is a sick item. I want to go to the treasure room. I'm considering. Oh, that's really good, actually. I was considering the library from Bookworm, but maybe we'll get another key. And honestly, this item that we came across is stupid good. Also helps out with crowd control, as you can clearly see. We will get perfection on this floor as long as we continue to play well. So I I'm looking out for that. Trying my best to try hard as much as possible. See what we can get. Wisps are awesome. More ways for us to not get hit. <laughs> but my issue is I don't actually have any way to, well, take a deal. But I am last, so I have extra lives. So maybe this is the way we just do it perfection hello 
we're taking it. We don't actually spawn a deal, so that makes my decision easier. We'll take Torn Photo. I am already beginning to get more and more used to the uh, the black title subtext showing up in the middle of the screen. It took like a couple of days, but now I'm feeling a lot better. Unfortunately, my voice cracked. However, uh, I can't restart this daily without not being ranked, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that and keep that in the video. You guys get to have that one, but I'm just gonna have to cry about it. <laughs> and of all of these, Book of the Dead is my favorite IMO. Cigarette room? Noise and some cash leading me to believe I should go to the shop. I could have kept the red candle for more uh, keeper shenanigans, absolutely. But to be honest with you, I prefer not taking damage. Damage truly is the number one way that you lose points in daily runs. I mean, I'll say it, if you play an entire run that isn't just the loss, because of course the loss can't get hit, and you don't get hit with actual damage, you will place very high, like incredibly high, just by playing somewhat decently and trying your best not to get hit. You don't even need to optimize that much. Speed up is great. However, optimizing is fun. Might blow that dude up. So I'm not gonna keep it off of the table. Trying my best to find a good book of the dead here. Is three enough? Eh, sure. I just want some orbitals. I just got one. <laughs> I cannot express enough just how good max toxication is in this scenario. We are just barreling through and taking care of everything possible. I could have used that troll bomb for a secret room which could be plausibly below me, but it's okay. I didn't react in time. It was below me and I get some dudes. Wow. Hello. It's a good thing I decided to do that. Range up's okay. I will try my best to blow up this keeper. I definitely need more bombs, but getting an extra deal chance is worth and I still got to blow up the charge beggar. So we're not going to fight the boss just yet. We got to find shop and stuff. I am rich. Oh, this is a good one. I'll book the dead this. Absolutely. At least four enemies. There you go. That's what we're looking for in here. Gree, don't get hit by his ass. And I uh, got a luck up. But I'm also really wealthy. I, I need to spend this cash somewhere. <laughs> it's also important that we don't get hit with perfection, not just because I don't want to get hit, but perfection will provide more pickup and clear room rewards, meaning that I'll get more pickups. And when you pick up pickups, you get points. So keeping perfection for as long as we can is really essential for a high ranking here. I can't believe that I can't go to my treasure room. And that's actually mad unfortunate. <laughs> I might have to play the shell game beggar for a bit here. Yeah, I, I think I will. And also look for the super secret room. Any chance I get to get some keys. I have the cash flow necessary. Let's make sure that dude do not die. Hello. There you go. Come on. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, you're dying. Sorry. I mean, I, I just don't have a use for you. And you provided the key. Nice. Do I greedily open a golden chest for absolutely no reason? I might. I, I honestly very much could. Aquarius, sure. It's all the way down there, though. You know what? I did see Curse of the Maze made it appear back here. Maybe if I do this, I would save time. Okay. This is seeming like a very stupid decision for me. Ooh. I do think... Well, it wasn't worth it that I lost time there, but I don't think that was a bad attempt at a strategy. That Curse of the Maze thing was kind of fun to do. I could get mushrooms and super secret? No, which means this is probably super secret. Which means I'm out of here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's probably here somewhere. It's gotta be here. If it's not, yeah, yeah, okay. That was a decent amount. Stud finder, no thank you, I'm out. It's very important that you find secret rooms as well. Exploration, once again, really provides a lot of points for your run but especially secret rooms. I'll try and showcase it next chance I get, but when you walk into a secret room for the first time, you get a ton of points. Like walking into this devil, you saw that? I got like 50 points. That's the kind of thing that happens, except uh, even more so. Let's die here. I'll get even more. There you go. Amount of damage, even though it's not really too useful to me right now. I could go boss challenge room. Hold on. Gonna waste some time, but I think it's worth. Let's go, go, go quickly now. I'm really happy we got transcendence that early on. That is definitely for some people not going to happen. I don't care about that because I have maximum tier rate. Yeah, that secret room was hard to find. I don't blame anyone for not finding that. I just tried to take the most mathematical chance possible. It also gave me a coin, so I just got a little bit lucky, I think. Cool. Well, we are going incredibly fast and we have nine minutes or I guess eight and a half for two floors. That's really nice. I'm happy with those odds. I think we can work with it. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here. Get another res going and we're taking magic skin with us. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, why are you taking magic skin? What are you trying to do? Rig the game? Rigging the game is not too useful on daily runs because what are you going to do? Just get a bunch of items. You pick them up. You lose a lot 
of points. But I'm doing this because I want to see if I can use it in the secret room to get We Need to Go Deeper, which is so far the only way I could really think of to get to the future floors uh, currently. It could be a dumb risk, but I, I truly don't really see any other way to possibly pull this off. It just sucks because I have no HP to really make it work. But these are the things we got to do in order to get a high score. So because of that, I'm also going to look for as many soul hearts as possible because once I stack up these broken hearts, there's really no going back. Okay, a couple chests. This is fine. Don't need that. And down here, here, Montezuma, I almost feel like this item messes me up instead of helps me. And it doesn't provide any form of pickups or extra points, so I'm actually, uh, unlike usual, I'm gonna leave it alone. Again, daily runs are a lot different when you're trying to go for high score, but that's also kind of why I really enjoy them. Uh, this is worth it? Kind of. Maybe in here? Nice. Uh, super greed is okay. I have maybe secret room rolls. Let me use this one time. Oh, what are you doing here? This is slightly scary, <laughs> definitely. But Pyro, you can see the jump I got. You can see the jump I got in my point value. That was crazy good. Even if I don't find we need to go deeper, that was already really worth it for us. So that's awesome. Also, if we're going for points here, I should spend money at the shop and then take quarter. And the reason being is once you take quarter, if you have 99 cents, it's not going to give you any sense. So you're actually not going to get points for picking it up. What's going to happen is you're just going to get the, the negative point like item penalty for picking it up. So always make sure I had 90 like 5 cents just earlier. It would not have been worth it in my opinion to, to pick up quarter. You can see I'm picking up all these coins. It's not even doing anything. So let's spend cash first, then pick up quarter if need be. It is very much needed. My goodness, it's time to heal via soul hearts. This is amazing. I get to use magic skin a couple times now. Restock this, champ belt okay voodoo could provide some form of utility perfection does not get smelted if you don't know you cannot smelt perfection i'll take this well rather you can smelt perfection but what happens is even if you get hit you still lose it so there's really no point other than freeing up a trinket spot and i don't need to free up a trinket spot when i bought mom's purse now when i take quarter what's going to happen is i'm actually going to get all my points back Perfect. I bought a few soul hearts so I can go and use magic skin a couple more times once I go down here, fight this boss, and then I have a battery I want to work with as well. This is potentially really, really, really good of a run. Okay, so here's another one. Oh my goodness. This <laughs> is... Give me one single decent card, I dare you. And then card battery, absolutely not gonna happen. Pandora? Mm, uh... No Gonna refresh. Restock this a couple times. Nice. That's crazy good. Don't need Poke Go. And then Rules Card is the last thing I wanted to Echo Chamber, but you know, Chub dislikes smoke. Or actually, a dark market lies under your feet. I wonder what that's referring to. Since I'll be healing anyway, might as well do this. Huh? I didn't even get an achievement! Oh my god, I had to do it with other people. <laughs> Can I still do it with other people? Oh crap. Doc. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Tomorrow I get the achievement. <laughs>